Hi, hello everyone, it's Tony Ann. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So about a year ago, I posted a video about how I organized my life using Google Calendar and a lot of you guys seem to like it. So I thought I'd do an updated version because I still use Google Calendar every single day. However, I also use it in sync with another application called Xtiles. So this video is going to be about how I organize my entire life using Xtiles. So what is Xtiles, you ask? Great question. Basically, Xtiles is very similar to Notion. But a lot more user friendly. So personally, I have tried to get into Notion many times throughout the years and I could never really get into it. I would try to start setting it up and maybe I would kind of set it up, but I just find it's very overwhelming. Notion is because there's just, just so many options in Notion. It was very overwhelming and I could just, like I said, never stick with it. But I started Xtiles about a month ago and I've stuck with it and I've really been enjoying it. So if you're not familiar what Notion is, Xtiles and Notions are both like all in one workspaces. So Xtiles, it's great for you no know, taking planning you can also collaborate with other people on it so it's basically an all-in-one place for your life your notes or whatever you want to put brain dumps your calendar all of that into one desktop application and there's also a mobile version as well i'm mostly going to be talking about the desktop application because that's what I mostly use. I do have the phone version, but I like to use it on my laptop. I found Xtiles was super easy to set up and get started using. Very low learning curve. One reason is because they have these templates, these pre-made templates within the application that you can customize or use as is. And to be transparent, Xtiles is actually the sponsor of today's video, but I do generally use this app every single day and I love it and I do highly recommend it. And it's also free to get started and set up. So let me start screen sharing my laptop so you can see what I'm looking at while I explain how I organize everything within my life using Xtiles. Okay, welcome to Xtiles and welcome to my workspace. So as you can see here, I have a thing called MySpace. So this is a project and you can create multiple projects within Xtiles, but personally, I've only created one so far. I've only, again, been using Xtiles for a month. So I'm still creating my space to be exactly the way I want it. And I think with time, I would create different projects for different things because yeah, you can use Xtiles for personal, school, work, whatever you want. But for now, I just have everything in one project. So let me open up my space. Welcome to my space. So at the top here, I have a banner. You can upload your own photo. Personally, I like to create like a vision board for every month. So this is like my November um, vision board. It's just kind of the vibe, the aesthetic I'm going for. And then below that, I have the title of my project, my space. And then below that, we have different tabs here. So as you can see, we have a today, tomorrow, to do, uni, recipes, wish list, resources, and references tabs. And each one of those tabs will bring you to that page. So I know it can be kind of overwhelming when you're first being introduced to a new application. So I'm gonna try and make this as easy to understand as possible. So like I mentioned, these are all different pages. I'm gonna show you how you can create a page from scratch, then also from a template, and then I'll show you all of my different pages. So I'm gonna add a new page, creative page, blank creative page. I don't actually need to create a page right now, so I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna title it, whatever. For the sake of this, just to show you how easy it is to create your own page from scratch. So you can hit new and then it'll automatically make a, like a block or you can drag and drop and make your own boxes however you want. It's so customizable. Like, look, if I want it that size, I can. If I want one just nice and skinny like that, I can. Or if I want it skinny this way, I can. So very easy that way. And then within these boxes, you can title them. And then you can also customize what kind of content you want to put in it. So you can just start typing if you wanted, or you can hit like the slash and then all these commands can come up and you can just pick whichever one you want. So. Let's say you wanted to create a, a table, you hit table and then it'll create automatically a table for you. Or you can hit say checklist and you can start making a checklist. And each one of those boxes you can customize with colors, like however you want, very, very customizable. Again, I don't really need to make a page right now. That's just to show you how easy it is to make one. You can also easily add images. So let's just quickly, I'm just gonna quickly copy this image from Pinterest and paste it. I mean, it's just loading, but very easy. So I'm going to, there we go. I'm going to start showing you all my different pages that I actually use so you can get a better understanding of how I use X tiles to organize my life. So let me start with my today page and I'm gonna actually delete this, this one because I don't really need it. So this is the page that I use 
every single day. I look at it in the morning, I put everything on it. It's a great way to organize my thoughts. So today is Monday, November 18. I just put the date there. An affirmation that I try to keep in mind throughout the day. My today's to-do list. I like to do that like when I wake up in the morning or like a day before when I'm planning ahead, I like to put it in. And then after I have my to-do list, I'll often put it into my schedule. So this main part here is like my schedule, my hourly schedule. So I have the time here, the focus, the thing that I wanna work on at that time. And then just for a visual representation of how far I am throughout the day, I just like to put a check mark. So as soon as 3 p.m. hits, it's basically 3 p.m. right now. So I'll just hit it. I like to just check it off just so I know, okay, like that part of the day is gone and I still have this part of the day left. I like to start it at 7 a.m and leave it until 11 p.m. But also if you're thinking, oh, what if you have something like on the half an hour, you can easily just insert a row below. You can do this for any table. So yeah, this is just a table. And then you can also add notes here. So let's just say I want to add a note, film. Oops, why isn't it typing? Oh, that's why it's because it wasn't actually a thing yet. So I actually had to create a column because I don't actually use this column. Don't forget, I don't have a tripod. Just like that. Speaking of don't forget, I always have a don't forget thing on the side here. If there's just something that I, you know, don't want to forget. And then self care, that's something that I often neglect. So I like to have an actual box for that. So I can think about, hey, like how am I going to self care today? A shopping list, let's say I want, well, I need milk. And let's say I want eggs, you know, easy to just add something new to that. And then morning gratitude. And I did not do that yet today. Um, I should have. It's easy to type things below here. So that is my today page. Oh, I also have an image here. I like to sometimes swap it out. Again, whatever aesthetic vibe I'm going for for the day. Anyways, my tomorrow page is identical to my today page but it's for tomorrow. So I like to think one day ahead and plan that so I have a mental preparation of what I have to do tomorrow. And if there's something I know that I'm not gonna do today, but I wanna do tomorrow, like I want to meal prep tomorrow, um, I'll just put on my tomorrow's to-do list. And then speaking of to-do, I actually have a to-do page. So there's actually like a Kanban board, I think. So I use this from a template. Should I just show you that now? Why not? I'll show you the templates and then I'll get back to all of my pages. So let's say I wanna start a new page, but I don't know where to start. Just hit the templates button here. And then all these different templates come up. So as you can see, there's Budget planner, daily planner, simple, daily schedule, 2025 goals. That's actually a good one. I should start doing that. There's literally so many different things. You can also like kind of filter it by different things. So productivity, personal life, work, agency slash team, education. So let's hit personal life. There's meal planner, reading list. So let me just click one for the sake of showing you how easy it is to, to get started on one of these. I liked the meal planner one. So you hit meal planner. And then you can use use pre-filled or use this template. So I don't want it to be pre-filled. So I'm gonna use, use this template and I'm gonna add it to the existing project. So remember, everything that I'm showing you is one project. But if I hit like add to new project, it would have created a new project that'd be separate from my space project. So as you can see, I just added a new tab to my project called meal planner and you can easily customize this. So personally, I don't like to have all caps. So I'll just change that. Also, I don't think that hamburger is very cutesy, so I'd probably change that emoji. Because I didn't hit use pre-filled, it's really nice because it has all of the labels and everything, but none of the actual text inside. So this one, again, I haven't used this yet, so I'm new to you and me. It has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Tomorrow's a Tuesday. Let's say for breakfast tomorrow, I want to eat Greek yogurt. Let's say maybe I want... I'm playing ahead. I'm like, I don't actually know what kind of Greek yogurt meal I want to have. You could always like throw in an image um, easily, like copy image, and then you can just paste it. Bam, so easy. So that's how you can create a page from a template. And again, there's so many different templates. Um, as I'm going through my pages, I'll show you which ones were all made from templates. Majority of these actually were made from templates, um, including my today. One was originally made from a template, but I've customized it so much at this point, it's so far different from the original template. Going back to my to-do page, this is basically all of my ongoing projects, tasks that aren't necessarily things that I'm working on today. They're just things that I want to remember to do. I have backlog, so things that I haven't started yet or just like things that are in the back of my head, you know? The to-do, in progress, and then done. And it's really nice because you can click on it and as soon as you finish it, status, done, it moves it to the done pile. But I'm not actually done that, so let me move that back to my in progress. So that's my to-do page. And then I have my uni page. So this is um, an instance where I think you could create a different project instead of having everything in one space. So for example, you could have a personal project, 
a university project and let's say a work project. But personally, I'm good with having all one project. So this is my uni page. This is a block for my marketing 300 class and I made good use of another table here. So these are the different weeks of my course, topics for each week. And then I like to have like a kind of like a progress of how I'm doing for that week. So for each week I have to do like homework and I like to make flashcards for each week. And so that's what know it is, theory and know it question mark. And I can say not yet. I haven't done that yet. And then if I have finished it or started it, you know, you get the gist, very easy. So, so far I honestly only have marketing in here under my uni tab, but if I wanted, I could easily, you know, start one for my finance 400 class. Oops, finance 400. Okay, next I have my recipes page. And this again was made from a template and I really love this. And I'm gonna show you one thing that I really love about x -Tiles and the features that they have. But let me first show you my recipes page. So recipes, it automatically created the breakfast, sides, mains, desserts, tabs, which is really nice. So if I hit breakfast, I don't have anything yet, but you can easily add a new recipe and you can just, let's say pancakes. And then you can add a URL. So I'm gonna quickly just show you how easy this is. Oh wow, look at this delicious recipe I wanna make. You can add the URL, quickly just add an image of the pancakes here, image. And then you can also add things like status. Um, I want to make it, if I actually made it, let's say I actually did make it, I said I could made it once, um, the day I made it, let's say I made it today, I can rate it. <laughs> Firstly, I made these own ratings. I put bad, okay, probably wouldn't make again, good, probably would make again, and scrumptious. Let's say they were scrumptious. And you can add notes, whatever, and then bam, the picture's just still loading, but there we go. The feature that I wanted to really show you is you can easily add this to different collections, or you can move and add it. So I'm gonna add it to my collection. And let's say I add it to my calendar collection. Then when I go to my calendar, which actually uh, I wasn't using calendar at the time. So let me unarchive it. You can archive pages too, which is really cool. So this is my calendar page and this is synced to my Google calendar. So I can scroll to today. This is my today thing, but also you can go to the no date and then you'll see pancakes. So because I added the pancakes recipe, to my calendar page, my calendar collection, it automatically put it there. And because I didn't schedule it, it's no date, but you can literally take the pancakes, your task that you want to do and drag it onto whatever day you want. Let's say I want to make these pancakes Tuesday. And now it's scheduled, that's Wednesday, scheduled for Wednesday. Isn't that so cool? While I'm on the topic of calendar, why don't I show you a little bit more? So calendar, this is my Google calendar, but you can also create tasks that can be like linked to your calendar. So let's say, let me go to my today page. And let's say today I need to walk the dog. I don't even have a dog. Let me add this to my calendar. You can add a time. Let's say I'm gonna walk my dog at, you should walk your dog multiple times a day, guys, at 7 p.m. And you can add a reminder as well. So let's say, you know, 15 minutes before, and you can also repeat it daily or however much you want. And then because there's also an X Tiles mobile device option, you get notifications on your phone when tasks are due or upcoming, which is so amazing. So that's how you can schedule something. So basically I just made a task on my desktop that is linked now also to my calendar. So when I go back to my calendar page here, you can see walk the dog is now on today's date. So that's how calendar and tasks are kind of intertwined. And the really great thing is you can also access both calendar and your tasks from no matter what page you're on. As you can see here, there is a task button and you can see all your tasks for today, like to like walk dog. And you can also see your calendar from the calendar tab from whatever page you're on. So I really like that about X Tiles. Okay, what tab was I on? I think I was on Uni, but I basically, no, I was on Recipes. So that was my Recipes page, love that. I am gonna delete that because I don't actually wanna make those pancakes. And then I have a wish list here. So there's actually, it's a work in progress. I don't have many things on here yet. Sometimes when I just think of something like, oh, I kinda want that. Let's say I want a pair of black jeans but I don't know yet where I wanna get them. I'm like, oh, I just want a pair of black jeans. I'll just put that in just so it's out of my brain and onto, onto something. And then when I have time, whenever I just have downtime, I can go, I'm like, oh, like I kinda do want a new nice razor. Then I can go shopping, you know, online, put a URL, put a wish list status, all of that stuff. Then I have my resources page. It's content media that I want to consume. 
So videos or podcasts that I want to watch slash listen to, books I want to read, TV shows or movies I want to watch, websites I want to read or like articles. You can also just like add a new one. This again was a template. The recipes, wish list, resources, all three of those were made from templates, pre-made templates on next tiles. And then my last tab here, because I already showed you my calendar, is references. This is a one that I made from scratch. You can probably tell because there's nothing, really nothing on here. But eventually I want to just kind of use it more as like, a place to put down notes. So here are affirmations that I wanna kinda of cycle through because like I showed you, I have an affirmation every single day. So I like this affirmation and I wanna save it. So I just put a affirmations box there. Okay, so that's basically how I organize my life using X tiles. Again, I've only been using it for about a month, so I haven't perfected my system yet. No judgment, the way things are organized and the way things are right now, it's it's still a work in progress. But I basically just wanna show you how easy it is to get started, to set it up, how easy it is to customize things, to make it aesthetic. It's just very easy to use. Like I'm not very techy and I could easily figure it out. So I'm sure you can see it's very, very easy to, to get started. Um, also, it's free. It's free to use. There are paid versions, but even all of their paid versions are cheaper than any of the Notion paid versions. So very affordable for my fellow students out there. Again, if you have any questions, you can leave them down below. I'm not an expert. So if there's anything that I didn't really go enough into depth about that you wanna know about, they also have X Tiles has a YouTube channel where they have tutorials about different topics. So I've watched quite a few of those when I was first getting started setting up X Tiles. But again, you don't really need to necessarily watch those because the templates are so easy to get started with. I really recommend getting started before the new year just so that when the new year hit, you can have um, a system set up in place or if you're in university, you know, for the new semester, you can get it set it up. Maybe during your holiday break, get this all set up. I really recommend using X Tiles and I'll link their website in my description box you can just click it and it'll be very easy for you to get started thank you xtiles for sponsoring this video and thank you for watching please like hit the subscribe button and the bell if you like content like this and i'll see you in the next one bye